Right, I've just been looking over the vid videos on completing the square and I noticed that for the first one um, there's a couple of things that I probably could have made a bit clearer and um, also completing the square is one of the harder parts of um, the C1 module and there's a couple of other things that I should go through for completing the square. So the general idea of completing the square is we'll have some expression of this form here where we've got x squared plus some constant times x and we'll want to write it in this way here. So what we want to do is we want to put a perfect square this part here is called a perfect square and this part's completing because whatever we get here we need to take that off to get this expression here back otherwise we'll end up with a constant term here when we multiply the b over 2 and the b over 2 together so to get the idea of this let's look at a few examples here so this is one method if we've got a constant in front of the x squared term we're going to divide everything by that and then if we haven't got a constant in front of the x squared term we're just going to halve b which is this term here multiplying the x and square it and that will go into a bracket that's shown up here it will go into this form and then this expression here we obviously want to put as a perfect square like this as I've shown you at the top and we're going to subtract everything by this constant term b over 2 squared so for the first example here, my b term here is 4, I don't have anything multiplying x squared so I don't need to divide anything for this example and I'm going to divide this by 2 which I'll get 2 and then if I square that I'll get 4 so I'll have x plus 2 squared I've just divided this by 2 and squ square it but I only put in the number divided by 2 for this part and then we're going to subtract 4 which is b over 2 squared because I've got 4 here divided by 2 I get 2 squared and I get 4. Notice if I multiply all of this out I can, I'll can i get x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 4 and then I'll get x squared plus 4x. And I get exactly the same thing as we've got here so you can see that's the solution because we can get this expression here back to this one so let's see some of our examples I've got x squared plus 5x and what I'm going to do is I'm going to half this term here 5 so I'll get 5 halves so in the brackets then we'll have x plus 5 halves squared And then for the next part, and then 